Hello everyone, welcome to Ubuntu.net. My name is Drew. Today we're going to look at the command line and specifically the new command of the .NET driver. So what I have here on screen is basically just a, a dummy folder. I'm calling it .NET Projects. And I'm going to create a, a series of uh, subfolders. Actually, I've already got them created. Um, one for each kind of project type. And that's what we're going to do today is get into the various options that we have for creating a new project in uh, uh, .NET Core. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to do a .NET uh, new and we're going to create the various project types. First of all, I'm going to change directory into console, console subdirectory. If I do a ls, I have nothing in there. And now, uh, just like we did the last time, .NET and new. Now, if I left it this way, the default options for language would be C Sharp, as well as the default type of, of project would be console. But just for completeness, I'm going to do dash L and type in CS for uh, C Sharp. And dash T, the project type would be console. And this creates, if I can learn to type, and this creates, if we do a directory listing, exactly the same thing we got the last time with our uh, Hello World uh, empty, uh, just uh, the starting point uh, scaffolding project. Uh, Program.cs has a, a main entry point, and in that entry point, uh, there is a, a, a class called Program, and within that, there is a command simply to write out Hello World to the command line. Now, uh, before we get, we can run this, we have to do a uh, .NET restore, and that uses the project.json file. Uh, and what that does is it will download all the uh, uh, DLLs and, and dependencies that we need in order to run the project. So we do .NET restore. Very quick, 750 milliseconds. There's not very much going on here. <clears throat> now we'll run the project. I spelled it correctly, yay. Uh, run. And we get hello world on the command line. This project is it's a good starting point if you just want to uh, quickly uh, uh, pound out a, uh, a console app, uh, some utility. It gets much more interesting in the next project type. And I need to go back up to my uh, my root folder here. I'm gonna, well, I won't clear the screen. If I do a directory listing, the next one we're gonna work on is the web project. This one is very interesting to me. .NET, um, new. And the language type is gonna be CS. And of course you can, you can just leave out the, the language parameter if you wanted to and do a dash T. The type here is gonna be web. No, I need to change directories into that web folder. CD.web. Okay, now do a listing. Good, good. .NET new. And then the language is <clears throat> C sharp. The type is going to be web. And the .NET projects web folder. Okay, excellent. So we'll do a listing. We get all kinds of things here. This is an ASP.NET MVC. Uh, scaffolding application and I'm going to run it for you uh, when we do a .NET restore and we do a restore from uh, package or, or pro project.json uh, you'll see that it's going to download quite a few things so let's do that now .NET um, restore and this may take a few seconds to download it's downloading all sorts of DLLs everything uh, things required by MVC and, and uh, ASP.NET as well as uh, we've got some functionality in for for authentication so on and so forth so let's do a .NET run are you in the link and let's see what it gives us this is basically just a, a help page um, to help you uh, go further so let's look at this in uh, in uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open the folder here. Go to Web. .NET Projects, and we see that we have number one. <clears throat> we have controllers, the home controller, and this is exactly what you would expect to see um, if you created a new Visual Studio ASP.NET MVC application. Um, let me see here. Um, Bower.json, this is uh, uh, 
dependencies that we need on the front end. Uh, we've got jQuery, jQuery validation, uh, bootstrap, and so forth. The package JSON, uh, gulp, so forth. Um, the program, what this does in uh, .NET Core, um, we actually, this website is a console application and we create a web server when we run it. So we run it from the command line and get uh, uh, debugging and logging information on the command line here. So it really is a console application, but a console application that creates its own web server. So what we can do is uh, hit control C. Um, let's go on to the next project type. Uh, if you do need to create a web-based uh, ASP.NET MVC application, certainly this is the way to go. And I'll pull that up again for you. The language here is CS. The project type is web. And you can do exactly the same thing. You don't have to type in the language because C Sharp is the default language. So if we move on to the next type, um, let's say we, we're creating an application. Uh, it's a web application or any other kind, really. And we want to make sure that we're using reusing code as much as possible. Of course, we can create a uh, a class library, uh, our own DLL that has reusable code in it. So I'm going to go back up one directory, do a listing here. I'm going to uh, change directories into lib, which is the next project type. Um, if I do a directory listing, it should be empty. Good. Uh, .NET. Every time I type it in wrong. .NET new and the type here I'm going to let it to uh, the language default to C sharp the type here is going to be LIB for library and now we can do a directory listing very simple library CS um, let's go ahead and build it just to see what happens .NET restore should not take very long there we go 313 milliseconds that's shorter time than the restore for a console app so this look at the code in uh, Visual Studio Code. I uh, go go into library, <coughs> library CS. That's it. That's that's all you got. Uh, if you include this into another project, of course, you can call on this method one or whatever the method is, passing your your parameters, arguments, and, and get your re return. Um, this is for code reuse, and, and that's that it alone. So go back to the li uh, command line. Uh, let's see. I need to go back up to my root. Um, CD into X unit test, and then I'm going to create .NET new, um, and the type is going to be X unit test, and it's created it very quickly. <clears throat> we have uh, two files again. Seems to be overarching uh, theme here. We've got our main file, which is a, a an empty test uh, a C sharp app, uh, file. And then the other one is the uh, project.json, which we need to restore from. .NET, restore. .NET, restore. <clears throat> and it is now downloading the dependencies for our unit test project. Wow, quite a bit. And .NET test. One total, zero errors, zero failed. Okay, so, in, so that is an overview of the four different types of projects that are supported on the command line uh, using the new uh, keyword or new command. And uh, I'll do a directory listing here. We have created uh, a console applica application uh, library, C Sharp library, a web, ASP.NET, uh, MVC web project, as well as a unit test project. And you can use these uh, for the <clears throat> as the basis of any project that you want to go forth and create. And as a matter of fact, in the coming uh, videos, after I am done uh, making videos about each command uh, for the .NET driver, we're actually, I'm going to get into uh, creating an ASP.NET MVC project where uh, we're going to build our own object browser. So when we run it, uh, the DLLs, all the classes, the interfaces, the namespaces, what have you, will have a web project that will display uh, all those things starting at, you know, system and going all the way down. Um, it, it will display it as a tree and uh, we'll get information about it, uh, each individual uh, item in the right hand uh, pane. So we're going to make use of the web project as well as definitely make use of uh, unit test uh, project. Keep in mind, you for the uh, 
uh, the .NET new command. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.